we know that there are individuals who need to be detained, who should remain locked up. And we also know that the vast majority of people do not deserve, nor do they need to be in jail in order to be uh, successfully rehabilitated. It's absolutely essential that you as a judge make the best possible decision you can make because that split second decision that you make um, has a lifetime of impact. When I make a bad call and I let somebody out on a bond and then they should uh, commit uh, some type of uh, horrible, violent offense, uh, not only does the community feel it, I feel it personally. That goes along with being a judge, uh, making those decisions, making the best possible decision you can based upon the information which is available to you. We all want to be better judges. If we don't want to be better judges, then it's probably time to go home. Being a better judge means being an informed judge. It means being educated, and it means trying to make the best possible decision you can every time you're called upon. That requires information, reliable data, so that we can make those informed decisions and exercise our discretion in a manner which is consistent not only with our office, but with the expectations of our of our communities. This tool gives me the confidence to make those decisions. It focuses on uh, a defendant's uh, prior criminal history, particularly focusing on uh, prior violent crimes, failures to appear, and those types of issues. And it also ignores uh, a number of demographic factors, which in the past historically have led to criticisms that certain types of uh, instruments produce disproportionate results for um, certain groups. It is a snapshot of information which, in most cases, I could probably glean with a whole lot more effort, um, but I don't have the luxury of the time to do that. And yet, at the same time, there's nothing in the instrument itself or the conclusions in the report that I receive which preclude me from utilizing my individual discretion as a judge to make the best possible decision I can. That's important for me. Uh, it's important that I be able to maintain uh, my individual integrity as a judge and ultimately uh, the fact finder and decision maker regarding those types uh, of questions. So it has worked out extremely well for me. It is definitely the best risk assessment tool that has been utilized in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I am confident that the collective experience of the Court of Justice is that the pretrial risk assessment um, makes us better.